YouTube, this is Demon790, and if it's been a while since I've done a video, so let's make a huge comeback on this one. This one is about how to increase sound output on a Android phone mobile device. As you know with phones these days, since the old Walkman phones, sound output on the new touchscreen phones, especially like Z3, Z1, Z2, even other Androids like S5s and Samsungs, the sound output on most phones have been limited. This was done a few weeks, few years ago, and it's been a problem for most phones these days. This is not with the phone of the loudspeaker, this would be the phone when you're listening through your headset. And I've had this a few problems. The only phones I don't have problems with are iPhones and Nokias. I don't like Nokias because they run on Windows, and never liked iPhones ever since they came out, because I think they're overpriced piece of tin. So I'm going to show you two ways how to increase your video, it's not video output, audio output on your phone. And this is through computer and on the phone itself. So this will be a two-part video. So the first thing you're going to need to download for the computer part is a program called Audacity. Now Audacity is basically a program which will tweak sound values on any MP3, AVI, any type of sound that you can put into Audacity, it, you can tweak it. You can make it louder, you can make it lower, but in this case, you want to make it louder. You want to make it as loud as possible without actually distorting the sound. The more louder you make the file, the more it forces the phone to not limit it. Usually, you could just, you know, do it through Audacity and you'd be fine. But on Sony Xperia's, especially Sony phones, it will still limit the sound file. So, I'm going to fire up Audacity, and if I can find in my program files, give me one second, Audacity. Now, but when you want to save a file, it will ask you for what's called lame. You can download this through the readme file to show you how to do it. Just install it somewhere and make sure the program can find it. So this is Audacity, very simple little program. So we're going to get a random file. Let's find Illidians, because I just did that one. There we go. We'll put High Tech Terror. So it will load the file into Audacity so you can see all of the sound waves and all of that ready to go. So I'm going to play it normally without tweaking the file and then I'm going to tweak it while it's playing. Sorry, can I do that? No. I don't think I can do that. I'll have to stop it and then tweak it and do it again. So this way it sounds like normally. It'll be very loud, so I'm very sorry. Okay, maybe not. It's not very loud. Oh, is it because this is limiting it? Oh, that's why. There we go. So, sorry if it's very loud, but that's what it is at the moment. So, what we can do now is, I'm just going to stop it. So, I'm sorry if you couldn't hear me, I was trying to explain. But now what we're going to do is, is we're going to move this little dial here. This is called gain. The higher the decibel, obviously the louder it is. So, I'm going to put it to plus five. Okay. Now you'll see a massive difference in volume. So I'm going to press it again. This is going to be very loud. I'm sorry. You ready? So as you can see, it is very loud. It's not very distorting. So you could probably put that to plus six to plus seven. Another thing you can do is the effect, which is you can go to bass and treble. But if you see your waves like this already out like that, don't touch the file with bass and treble because what will happen is it'll make it way too distorting and it'll be a big problem, and it'll be you won't be able to hear it properly. So after you tweaked all your files and stuff. Go to File, press Export. Now this is the part we'll ask for to find the lane. Now I put mine called Audacity Files. Make sure you put at the end of it .mp3. Click Save. It will then go over to where you can tweak this. I recommend actually doing this. When you put it on the phone, it will actually catalog it properly. So Illidians, High Tech Terror, Damage Theory, Track Number, Year, Cyber Metal, which is this. Press OK. It will save it. Unfortunately, it will only save it as 128 kilobits. It will not save it as a 328, which is like the best one possible. If you guys know how a way to do that through Audacity, please tell me. It will save me a lot of problems sometimes. But that's one way of doing it, louder. But I'm going to show you how you can like apply album artwork easily 
to it. So, no program, if especially if you're a Sony user, you'll have this anyway, but it works with all phones, and it's called Media Go. It's part of the Sony um, PC Companion Pack, and you can download all of it. But this is called Sony Media Go. It works with all phones, not just one phone. So when you connect your phone, it'll be up here. Unfortunately, I haven't got my cable to show you. Oh, I have actually. Let me just put my cable in two seconds. I should have been prepared for this. Okay, I'll put that cable in. I'll just attach my uh, Sony Xperia Z3. Even on. But there we go. It's connected. And it should show in a second on top like that. So it's on top. And you can look through both your memory card and your memory easily. But what we'll mention is the library function. And I'll show you how you can transfer stuff over in a minute. So as you see, all your music can hear. Some, if you haven't got any album artwork, it will actually come up blank. You want the key information there, like the artist and the album at least, and the name, which will make it easier to find. You can very simply press this and get album artwork or get missing properties, or you can do it manually by pressing properties. So you can do it through Retrieve, which is through Grace Note, and it's really good at finding the, um, the music ID. It's just still looking, it's going to be a cow, I take it. We'll cancel that. Or you can put all this stuff in yourself, go to artwork, and actually apply your own artwork image. So it's like a drag across into there and it'll apply. Press apply, press OK, and it'll actually fix everything for you. To get into your phone, I see you can select the destination where you want it to go. I'm not going to do it because it's already on the phone. So that's how you can get into the computer easily, sort out your album artwork or your ID information. So that's one way of making your files sound louder. But I'm going to show you a second way. And you may not like it, you may do, but it actually does increase sound even better without rooting. So I'm just going to switch to the phone and I'll show you on the phone. So I'll be back hey, Welcome back. We're now on the mobile phone itself. This is the Sony Xperia Z3. So the second way in order to make your phone even louder, if you think the first way isn't loud enough, you can use this as well, which will make it even more louder. And in my case, it's actually improved my sound experience much better. So this is an application actually from Google Play Store. So that's why I say you do not need to root your phone or anything to be in this video. This is all legitimate. So click on your Google Play and search for an application called Power Amp. Now Power Amp is a music player you do have to pay for it after 14 days. So give it a shot after, it is worth the money. Um, I haven't unfortunately paid on this phone yet, but I will be doing it. It's not very pricey either. Install it. So what this will do, it will be a music player basically, and you can use this instead of your actual music player itself. So the reason why this is because, I'll show you in a second, is the music player itself limits sound. And I'll show you why this one is even better. So once you start Power Amp, it will find and all of your music uh, automatically. Now, for some reason, it comes up twice. So what I think it is, is because the music is actually on my phone as well as the SD card, so it's showing all the music files that are present. If that is the case, I will be going through the phone later to delete them all. So it won't come up with this phase, it'll come up with all your settings. Then go on to your equalizer settings. It'll come up with all these tutorials and stuff in order to do this, but cancel that, press X, just make a new one. So when you first start it up, this you'll see the equalizer here, all the thing will be straight. EQE, tone and limit will be on. First thing you're going to do is turn off limit. DVC limit is what's stopping your phone getting louder. So you want to turn that straight off. And then there'll be a slider on the far left called preamp. Slide that up as much as, as mine and it shouldn't distort the music as possible. If it does distort it, it's because your headphones are too you know, sensitive, lower it a bit more, but it'll still be louder than your uh, music player. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to play 30 seconds of Illidian uh, breaking the limit uh, on the Walkman player, then I will switch it over to the, to the power amp player. Now you will see like a tiny difference on the recording but in my ears they are pretty loud 
Yes, so we'll do that. So let's go. So just going to boot up uh, my music, which is this one right here. And we're going to start. And here we go. So as you can see, there is a significant boost to sound by about 30%, 20%, all depends on the phone. Now on the recording, you only see like a, you like a, hear like a tiny boost, but on my ears, it's so much more louder than actually on the Walkman phone itself. So those are two ways in order to make your sound louder without actually reading the phone. If you're still not happy with the sound output, Unfortunately, the only way you're going to be able to get your sound the highest that you want it to is obviously by routing the phone. So that's two ways, guys. Give me a message, maybe a subscribe, because I will be doing more videos later on about technology and stuff. Any problems, feel free to PM me. I'm available most of the time. So until next time, guys, you have a very enjoyable day, and I'll see you next time on one of my videos. Bye.